today to talk about the dangers lurking around your young children. Every minute, minute by minute, day by day, hour by hour, our children are exposed to the media. The media is targeting our children hour by hour, minute by minute, day by day. This is the danger I refer to today. What is the media? Where is the media? The media is radio, commercials on radio, television, commercials in between shows, magazines, newspapers, coupons that come to your mailbox, billboards, motion pictures with product placement in the background, the internet, the internet advertising through the internet such as blogs, banners, emails, MySpace, children games. These are the different places your children can view the internet, the media through the internet. There are, there are, the media is targeting our children consistently and daily. The bad thing about the media and what is dangerous about the media is 90% of the media's advertising towards children is promoting and pushing processed junk food. Junk food such as, such as soda, candy, cereals, juices, high in sugars, depleted snack foods such as chips, crackers, cookies. These foods are depleted with nutrition. They, 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 they carry hydrogenated oils, refined sugars, trans fats, dyes, preservatives. These, these types of foods can cause disease in young children such as cancer and onset diseases such as such as diabetes, type 2, type two diabetes, ADD, ADHD, allergies. Consuming junk food can cause diseases and cause, cause heart diseases in young children. There's a big business in pushing and pushing these depleted products. Big companies such as General Mills, Kraft, Pepsi, Coke, these different types of companies spend thousands of dollars promoting junk food to young children. They use branding, which is a strategic plan through marketing companies to target young children, such as stealth advertising, viral advertising, advert games. Close to 40,000 commercials were viewed by young children alone on television last year. There's a big business in this. There, are, there was $30 million spent on young children buying products such as these, close to $100 million in teenagers and adolescents. Fast food companies are among the companies that are advertising too through the media, through radio, through TV, through the internet, and all these foods here are depleted in processed food. What's the answer? What should our children be eating? Our young children should be exposed to commercials that are pushing and promoting whole foods that are healthy, <clears throat> such as um, foods that have live enzymes, antioxidants, minerals, complex carbohydrates, good fats, not and such saturated fats. These are the types of foods that our children are not getting exposed to daily on the television. Com so these kind of companies are not, General Mills and Coke are not promoting these types of foods. These are the types of foods that our children must see and eat to eat regularly and eat healthy. Unfortunately, at this time, we don't have policies set in place to push and promote these kind of foods. Policies need to change. There are some policies that are set by the FCC and there are some regulations that protect our children. Currently, the FCC regulates commercials on television to 10 minutes during the week through a show, and on the weekends, 12 minutes through each show viewing on television. Change can be made by parents. If parents promote our policymakers and push, and advocacy groups push to change, these things can be changed.
if children were to eat these types of food, we would have less problems with type 2 diabetes, and people would visit that doctors less. Is there any questions? Is there any questions in the audience? Yeah, I was wondering that, um, basically how the n nutrition affects our children, um, how does it affect them in a daily manner? Well, day what I mean by saying daily is every day, every minute, hour by hour, our children turn on the TV, turn on the radio, and they get messages that these types of foods are good to eat. They have in, in some studies, they, they show that children are not even aware that these foods are bad for them. There is no, there's no system set up or no t commercials that show children how to compare good foods to bad foods. What they see constantly is what they think is healthy. Even parents have no idea. Pa parents are, are persuaded by children because these children sit hours and hours in front of the TV and they get these messages, buy this, buy that. When they go to the markets, the kids have a say and they persuade their parents to, to buy these things. Is there any other questions? Yeah, I was wondering, when I walk in the supermarket, why are all the sugary cereals down low and so that uh, toddlers and, and children in the basket can see them? Good question. There, in, our, in branding children and in marketing, companies pay premium spots to be on those levels. You think you're walking down the aisles and, you know, these things are, are just placed there. No, they're strategically placed there. Companies pay billions and billions of dollars to have their products right in the center where your eyes can, your kids can reach and see them. That's called slotting. Um, major companies pay slotting fees to have their products right there for your kids to right grab. Right up front. Right yeah. up front. Is there anything else? <coughs> is there, is the Congress, um, supplying any money so that there can be education for in public school for children to uh, be aware of nutrition? No, there's not, but there should the, that's where parents can to can step up and create advocacy groups to change that. Currently on the internet there is no policies or regulation. Right now your children can watch hour after hour and minute by minute advertising. There is no there's no regulation. The FCC has not stepped in to change that, and that's something that can be done by concerned parents that, mm -hmm. that want to make change, and change can come about by parents. In conclusion to this presentation, what we can gather from that, the basic tips that parents can take from this and change this is maybe letting your children view less television, maybe sitting less hours at the computer, because computer is the one the one mar media that marketing is not controlled by the FCC. Um, introducing more whole foods to their children that are, are natural um, in their whole state, with life enzyme, minerals, antioxidants, vitamins, um, whole wheats, uh, complex carbohydrates. The other thing is parents can, can make change with their schools, with their city, um, promote and write letters to our policymakers because these things can change. So, Please, parents, be aware the media is lurking, and it's up to us to change and, and watch our children. These companies are making billions of dollars a year marketing and advertising junk food. Thank you.